Hi everyone, Teresa Gregorio here for the Nip Petite Project and this week I've written a post about uh, whether or not there's value to creating a compulsory national or international sizing standard. Uh, when I first started thinking about the Nip Petite Project, um, just based on my experience shopping in stores, I thought that indeed there should be such a thing. Uh, from the point of view as a consumer, I thought that would, you know, increase my ability to be able to shop in various stores with confidence because I would know what size I would be. You know, if it's uh, small in this store, it's a small in that store, and it's a small in that store, for example. But the more reading I've been doing about sizing and how it works, uh, it actually is a bit of an attractive thought that um, manufacturers are able to do their own research to fit their own target market. Um, so that of course means that we can't really hop from store to store with accuracy necessarily. But if you do find the store, the manufacturer, the retailer, uh, that serves you as a target market, then it may increase the possibility that it will be a more accurate fit across sizing. I hope that makes sense. So the blog post goes over that a little bit and I wanted to introduce a couple of uh, thoughts for this week and moving forward. So in May, we're actually going to get into some of the meat of the stuff that I think everyone's interested in talking about, where we'll be looking exactly at different fit issues for bodies that are petite and within knitwear, how to f address those. So one of the things that I want to look at right at the top of the month in May is addressing some ways that people currently do that, how they take a knitting pattern design and they modify it for a petite body. Whatever those modifications are, uh, whatever tactics that person uses, whatever it is that they have to modify to fit their petite body. I would love to know because I would love to be able to share that information with everybody else in the Knit Petite Project. So if you would like to lend a hand with that, uh, please just let me know. You can email me at canaryknitsdesigns at gmail.com and just let me know how you did those modifications, what those modifications were, and uh, how satisfied you are with the end result. So hopefully I'll be able to share a bunch of information about that uh, from every, all these other knitters with you in May. Uh, the question for this week, addressing a little bit of this idea of international sizing standards, is if you have indeed bought, either in real life or online, clothes from some sort of foreign retailer and how the sizing may or may not have been different from your expectations. So let's just say you're a 12 um, shopping at home and then let's just say you went to France and you bought a 12. Was that an accurate size to what you were expecting? Was there differences? Uh, I'd like to get a little bit of a conversation going about that just so that we can see um, the variance across the globe and perhaps think about whether that's a valuable thing to have or not. So uh, please engage. Thank you so much for uh, following along and watching the videos and uh, giving support to the Knit Petit Project. Thanks again. Looking forward to seeing you next week.